Hey sis, welcome back to my channel. So today I am so excited to get into the video. And if you've been following me for a while, you're probably just as excited since I've been promoting this for almost two weeks, which is when I am going to walk you through setting up your TikTok shop for those who have less than 5,000 followers. Now, after I walk you through setting up, I want to talk about what I did the first 90 days for my account that I set up with zero followers. So I did the exact same thing I'm going to teach you. I had an account that actually had zero followers for TikTok shop. And I want to talk about what I did month over month, what I made, any violations that I received. And then I want to give you feedback on what I would want you to do for your month one, two, and three after all of that. So let's dive right into it. Okay guys, so we're gonna do a screen share so you guys can walk through with me. Here we have me searching tiktokshop.com. And so I'm gonna click right here where it says TikTok Shop Seller Center. Now it's gonna come up for whatever country you're in and I am in a North America seller. So I'm gonna enter. If it does not have TikTok Shop in your country, it will not come up. I'm actually going to click sign up now and I am going to use a different email. The one thing I will tell you when you are entering these emails, you will get flooded with a lot of sellers flooding your emails every day. I get about 30 to 50 a day of people trying to push and sell, ask me to sell their products. So please only use an email address. You are a hundred percent okay with getting flooded with different inbox emails every single day after you enter your email it's going to send you a verification code that you're going to want to enter just going to go ahead and create your passcode let me just do that one more time let me cut my stuff and then hit continue from there it's going to ask you to set up your account and so I'm going to go ahead and do it as an individual because most of us will be an individual. Um, and then it's going to ask you to verify who you are. And so I'm going to go ahead and do this using my... Okay, guys. So the original video that was supposed to be here, it's not working. So I'm going to re-record it. This is Future Crystal. Hi. Hi. You can use your passport or your driver's license. Okay, and then from there, you're gonna put in all your information here, as well as the last four of your social security number. And then you're gonna come into asking for your shop name. Now, pick your shop name. This will be the name that's on your account. Um, you can change it, but I say just take your time here. So I'm just gonna put TTS Master, TikTok Shop Master. Um, let's see if it'll take that. There we go. And then your primary product. When you're picking a product, guys, pick something simple. If you're picking food and anything hard, trust me when I tell you, it's going to take a while for approval. I'm going to pick shoes or fashion because picking these are very simple and easy to get approved. You can get approved within three to five minutes. I've seen it. I've also seen it take up to 72 hours. So just be mindful of that. Then you're going to put your phone number in here. Okay. Then you're going to enter the code that they send you. Now, once you get to this page, just go ahead and ignore it because this information here is for a seller account and we don't plan on selling anything. Remember, we are TikTok shop affiliates. So click up here, this house button here, and then you're going to click on my account and then you're going to go to linked account. And now you're going to be able to link your TikTok account with this seller account that you've created. Now, keep in mind, you do want to be already logged into your TikTok account. Now, here's my TikTok account that I just created for this demonstration. I'll throw a screen share up on the screen for you. Once you go into your TikTok account that you're going to be linking to the seller account. So that's the account that you're using that has less than 5,000. Or if you're like me and you started a brand new TikTok account and you have zero followers, that's perfectly fine. Either way, you're linking your TikTok shop that you want to use to the seller account that we just created. And to do that, you're going to click the top right hand corner the hamburger, then you're going to click on my QR code, and then you're going to click on the top right hand corner with the square and the line in it. And then from there, you are actually going to scan your QR code. 
And now you'll have a pop-up on your phone that's asking you to authorize the TikTok shop to access your TikTok account. And you would click authorize. And that's how you walk through and set up a seller account and link it to your TikTok account so you can actually be an affiliate. So you have a seller account that gives you the capabilities of being a TikTok shop affiliate. Now that you've connected the accounts, just go ahead and refresh. You might even have to sign out and sign back in. But now once you go into your account, your account will have this little shop sign right here as a way of showing you, you now have a full on TikTok shop account that's connected to your TikTok account. Now you have this shopping cart button. If you click it, it says TikTok shop. If you click that and you click on product marketplace down here, you will see that you now have a full on marketplace. And that is how you connect your seller account to your TikTok shop. Now let's get back to the other videos that were already recorded. And that's how you set up your seller account with less than 5,000 followers. And that's how you link it to your TikTok account. Now that you have those steps on setting up your account, I want to talk about my last three months for TikTok shop with my seller account that I set up that had zero followers starting November 1st. Okay. I'm going to go through everything I did at each and every month. I'm going to tell you how much I've made if I had violations. And then I'm going to tell you what I want you to do for your specific month. So for month one, what I want you to do. So let's start with my month one, which was November 1st to December 1st. Let me get my iPad so I can make sure I have all of my notes here. Okay, so for my month one, November 1st to December 1st, um, the first thing I did when starting this account is I decided to go through my house and find all of the products that were in my house. From there, let's say I found a product, I would then go to my product marketplace and I would look up that product on the product marketplace because i knew that most of the products like this one here that i got from amazon i can also get from tiktok shop so i would go into my marketplace i would type in guru nanda and then from there i would add it to my showcase and so i just went through all of the products that i could possibly sell in my house from amazon found them on TikTok shop. Some of them were not there. And once I found them, I added them to my showcase, which I'll be showing right here on the side. Now that I've added those to my showcase, I then went to each of the products to see the high performing videos that they already have. So I could try to recreate those. And so I would simply go to the product. And then from there, I would click on those two arrows, pull it up. And then from there, I would watch the high performing videos that had a lot of views. If the video was really good, I would save the video into a folder that I labeled TikTok shop. And those were all of the example videos that I wanted to just save so that when I would go and start to promote a video, I would have an inspiration already that I kind of wanted to play off on. Please know I did not copy anyone's videos. I made each video my own, but I definitely used theirs as inspiration. If they were loud and talking to the camera, I was loud and talking to the camera, but of course in my own way. Now for my first month, I only posted 13 videos and I made $200. I also got one violation and that violation was on November the 1st, my first ever video, I got violated. And so what I did was I actually copied a video from another page, one of my videos, and I reposted it to this new TikTok page that had zero followers. I mean, why not? That video had 5 million views. Why not just repost it? No, that was the biggest mistake I've learned month one with this new page with zero followers is that you cannot repurpose content when you are linking products to them. It has to be original content. Later on, I started to change up the beginning and the exit and the call to action or the end of the videos. And that would work and I wouldn't get flagged, but I stopped doing that all together because someone else got flagged, even though they changed the beginning and the end. So now I just create brand new videos for each one of my pages. Even if I'm saying the same thing, I say it in a different way. I might even change my outfit or shirt and change the text on screen or the trending sound if there's one. For month one, I ended up selling 27 items that gave me the $200 in commission. And out of the 13 videos, only two of them went viral and it's, and it's not huge. One video got 19,000 views and another video got 15,000 views. I sold one bed frame. 
I sewed one cordless vacuum, five plaid jackets, which by the way, I did not own that product, so that was pretty nice. And I sewed a set of pots and pans, four walking pads, and my top seller for the month, I sewed 12 photo frames that I did not even own. I did the overlay in green screen towards the end of the month, and it really took off for me. Now, if you are starting your month one after setting up your account, after going through my own month one with zero followers, I would want you to one, not go through your house looking for tons of products, then go into the marketplace, looking them up, saving them to your showcase. No, I would want you to download Hello Data. I hope I'm saying that correctly. I've been calling it Koala Data. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, but I'm trying to say it correct for the screen, but behind scenes to all of my friends and people I talk to, I call it Koala Data. Um, I would want you to go and sign up for Koala Data. You do get a month free and it shows you all of the top performing videos or products um, week to week. And so this is something that I later found out. So if you could start here, it would be a win-win. If you go to Koala Data, look at the previous week's top sellers. From there, I would want you to actually make videos based off of videos that are already performing. This will put you ahead of the game because there's nothing like creating 13 videos for 13 different products when you can just create 13 videos for let's say one product and that's a product that's already viral. So you're just jumping onto a wave that's already riding. There's a lady who actually made $100,000 in commission from TikTok shop her first month by selling one product. So just something to really think about. Instead of you trying to find what you already have, find what's already working and just ride the wave. Now, of course, you won't have any of these products. Now, if you go this route, you won't have any of these products most likely. So you will have to do a green screen or overlay. I will be posting a video on 212 where I'm going through different strategies, but I'll also be showing you how to add the green screen overlay for you to promote products that you do not own because an image of the product should be in your video of some kind just to prevent violations. Now, if you don't wanna go this route, you can also reach out to the sellers and message them. When you message them you can say hey I would like a free sample to promote your product because you do have a brand new account I will tell you they might say no simply because you have no followers and you don't have any videos posted or any data of what you're capable of doing but some of them actually might say yes so there is still a chance that you could reach out and actually get the physical product if you would like to have the product versus doing an overlay Keep in mind though, if they ship you the product, you're gonna have a specific deadline and due date that you have to get that video up by, as well as you're gonna have to wait a week to two weeks for shipping. So I'm not sure how soon you need money, but this may put a delay into that. Outside of Koala data and finding those viral products to make videos for, the second thing I would recommend for you to do in your first month is just be consistent. Give me a video every single day, Monday through Friday. I rarely posted on Saturdays and Sundays. If I did, it was because I had time, but usually I did not. So as long as you do a video every day, Monday through Friday, I would be okay with that. Giving me two or three a day is even better. But as long as you can do one a day, that's when you're gonna start to really see the sales because consistency is the most important thing with TikTok shop. The moment you take a break and you don't post during the week, I promise you it's like taking 10 steps backward as if you never posted a video before. And that's why I only made $200 my first month. Okay, going into month two with this account that I started with zero followers, now I have about 230 or 50 followers at the time. And from December 1st to December 31st, I actually only posted 10 videos and I made $1,100. I know what you're gonna say. You just told me consistency was key crystal and that last month, November, you posted 13. Now you post 10 and now you've made almost six times what you did, I can't do math, in November, and you wanna tell me that you only posted 10 videos? Yes, I only posted 10 videos, but here's the thing. I finally found Koala data. I didn't have that my month one. Remember, I just found random products in my house versus riding a wave of already trending products. So that made a huge difference in my video performance overall because I started to really promote viral products. The next thing I did was I reached out to the sellers and I did negotiate a higher commission. 
So this way I didn't have to post 13 or 20 videos. I could post 10 and just get paid more as long as it went viral, right? And then lastly, I made sure that any product that I was promoting had a lot of products in stock. So that means if it had less than 2000 products in stock, I no longer created a video for it. Even if Koala Data said it was viral, because if my video went viral, my sales would stop once they were all out of stock. And so I tried to make sure I only created videos for items that had 15, 10,000, 15,000, 20,000 products in stock. That way if my video goes viral, I can get paid for a long time throughout the month. Having those key differences in month two made a world difference, hence why I made 1100 versus 200 and posted less videos. So in regards to the products that I sell for month two, I sold 200 neck massagers. I do not own this product. I did a couple of videos. Some of them were faceless where I just showed my hands and my computer screen, which showed the neck massager on Amazon. And I told people that they should go to TikTok shop because it's less. And I responded to a lot of comment bubbles and included an overlay and green screen so that I didn't get hit with violations of not having a product in the video. The commission was about $6 a piece and I sewed 14 purse, purses, and that commission was like a dollar per bag. Those are my top sellers for month two. Now, my advice for you for month two is gonna be first and foremost, consistency. That's gonna always be. If you haven't been consistent in month one, don't even take the tips for month two. Don't pass go, don't collect $200, go back to month one and do all of those steps first. Now that you're in month two, if you've completed month one steps, you would need to then continue to be consistent to the point where now if you were doing one video on month one, give me two videos a day, give me three videos, let's push the envelope here. And then on top of that, keep up your koala data. I know that's not the name, that's what I'm calling it. Make sure you're consistently doing your research. I try to do this on Sunday nights before going to bed. And this helps me pick the items I am going to pick come Monday for the rest of the week. Reach out, ask for higher commissions before you even do it. For example, if you see a product's going viral on Sunday when you're looking at koala data, then on Monday, reach out to the seller and say, hey, can I get 25% commission? I would love to make videos for you. You're not asking for a product you're asking for higher commission so even though you have zero followers or less followers they will be more willing to give you a higher commission because it's nothing in it for them to raise your rate you just have to make a great video and if you do have a few sales from month one it doesn't hurt to tell the seller hey i would love to have a free sample of this product i was able to sell over a hundred thousand dollars last month on tiktok shop if you could send me a free sample keep in mind it will take weeks for it to come to you and you will be held to a schedule of when you can record edit and post that video for that seller and then in regards to violations for this month i did receive a violation and that was for posting or responding to a comment and not having a picture or image of the product. So what I would recommend is if you're responding to comment bubbles, make sure you either throw in a green screen or overlay, make sure there's text on the screen with the product information, make sure there's a description and so much more. I was literally just responding to comments with no text on screen, no description. I did use a couple of hashtags, but I did get violations in the month of December. They're not properly citing or referencing the product that I was responding or talking about. Okay, so month three, I started off with about 350 followers, about 120 more more than the than month two and I am currently in month three it's January 29th and I scaled my followers from 350 followers to about 5,000 I think 500 is what I have now um, and I know you're thinking what how is this even possible okay so first thing first I stuck with koala data I know it's not called that leave me alone and I made sure to consistently review high performing products. And then after I found out about the girl who made $100,000 in commission and only promoted one product, again, I just doubled down on what was working. And so I posted 19 videos and out of the 19 videos, they're only talking about two different products. Why am I gonna keep promoting all these other products when two of them are consistently viral every single week according to koala data and so that's what i did i made sure to only promote videos that were viral 
I picked two products and once I would record a video and post it, if it started doing good, I made another video to go with it and I would ride that wave until it died down or until a product sold out and then I would promote the next one. Same thing, I would keep making videos until one of them went viral. Once it went viral, I made other videos just like it. And that's another thing, I didn't do anything fancy. If the video that went viral was me combing my hair, brushing my teeth and using my mouth wash the next video I created was me combing my hair brushing my teeth and using my mouthwash maybe standing in front of a window this time or in my kitchen versus in my bathroom and I changed maybe the text on the screen maybe the text originally said the day in my life what I have to do every morning to have fresh breath and then the next video would say what I have to do after breakfast to have fresh breath and of course I would be filming in the kitchen. Like I kept it simple. If something worked, I doubled down 100%. Like I can't stress that enough. I didn't try to reinvent the wheel or get fancy. I kept posting. Once a video took off, I made different versions of the same video and just kept responding to comments until products sold out. And then I went to the next product, but I stuck with the same two products because at the end of the day, that's what Koala data set was working. So now I did make 19 videos and actually I have 5,872 followers as of right now. And so out of those 19 videos, because I kept doubling down on all the things that were working, here's something you're gonna notice. One of the videos had 1 million views. Another one got 131,000 views. Another one got 5.3 million views. Another one got 1.1 million views. Another one got 95,000 views. And so what you're noticing is yes, I almost doubled the videos that I did the previous month, but the videos that I'm producing are going further has nothing to do now with the higher commission rate. I did not ask for a higher commission rate for these videos. I tested the strategy of sticking with the same product and replicating a viral video. That's all I did. I have currently made $20,000. Let's see, if there is it right there, 20.5 thousand. There you go. That's what I've made. Come back, light me back up, okay. That's what I've made this month so far. And that's up until January 29th. That's not including today. That's it. That's up until January 29th, since it's always a day behind. You guys can see that. And today's the 30th. So that's not even including today's numbers, which I think today I've made about 700 or $800. So it'll be more for the month. When I look at my top sellers, which is two products I focus on with a Guru Nanda mouthwash and the neck massager. When picking these products, again, I picked them for Koala Data. Again, I picked them because Koala Data recommended them, but before adding them to my showcase, I made sure to go through and look to see who was offering the highest commission. Because when you type in Guru Nanda, you'll see multiple people are selling it. So I picked the one that had the highest commission, but also had the most in stock. So there was others that had a higher commission, but they had less in stock. Remember, I had to make sure whatever I was gonna recommend had to have thousands in stock. And so this one had close to about 10,000 in stock. Same with the neck massager. Multiple vendors were selling it inside of the marketplace, but I picked the person who had a good commission, but also who had the most in stock. For the for the Guru Nanda, I sold over 7,000 orders, and that commission was about $1.50 per bottle. And then for the neck massager, I sold close to 2,500 of those, and that commission was about $6. Now, I did get three violations in the month of January because of trademark infringement, counterfeit <laughs> infringement, and for again posting a posting a comment without having the product you're probably thinking why would you do those i did it so what tiktok shop is doing is they're going back to your older videos even though we're in the month of january they gave me violations for videos that i had produced and put out in november and december so just something to think about so after that happened i went through my account and I just deleted anything that I even thought was a violation so they could stop going back to old videos and throwing a violation on me 
60 to 90 days later. The good thing is violations do only last for 90 days. So the one that I got November 1st will be falling off in two days. So what would I want for you your month three? I'm gonna recommend Koala Data and Consistency first, always. And then after you use this product, finding products that have tons and thousands in stock, but most importantly, narrowing it down to a couple of videos. That way when people come to your page, they can see tons of videos on this product. It helps sells the product versus just one video having multiple. Now this is harder to do for someone like me who has a main page, because my main page can't just be talking about Guru Nanda, right? That's why I love the fact that I started this account with zero followers and it's literally a TikTok shop seller page. It's a page that just sells products. And so if you are using your personal account, that's something you might wanna think about because I don't know how comfortable you might be about posting about one product every single day on your primary account. But it is something that I do recommend for your month three. And then lastly, what I would recommend is once a video takes off, I don't care where you are, turn on your camera and post a video. If you're at the store and you're like, well, I'm not gonna get home until another 30 or 40 minutes or two hours, that's too long. If the video is taking off, double down, respond to a comment, get another video up, and then when you get home, make a replica of what you already did. But once it takes off, jump right on it. Those will be the biggest things I would recommend for your month three. Now, if you like this content, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications because every Monday I will be reviewing with you TikTok shop tips and tricks on everything you can do to be successful. Next Monday, we'll be covering all of the strategies that I implement, like for example, using Koala data and so much more, as well as we'll be going through a little bit of editing because you guys did recommend that you wanted me to show you how to add the overlays in the green screens and that'll be next Monday for Money Make It Monday. Now if you're sticking around for the rest of this week on Wednesday for Wellness Wednesday we will be covering different things that I'm doing for self-care to help reduce my cortisol and stress. On Freestyle Friday I will be going through and opening one of my latest tech gadgets my DJI Pocket 3 because I'm vlogging on Saturday. I hope this was helpful. I hope I didn't go too fast for you guys. I hope you guys continue to stick around. But as you know, because this is a money-making video, we have to end in prayer. Dear Lord Heavenly Father, I come to you just to say thank you. Thank you for the opportunity to sit in front of thousands today and just share everything that you've given me. I am very blessed and I am more blessed that I have an opportunity to share with other people. I pray, Heavenly Father, that all of the blessings that you've bestowed upon me, that you've shown me, God, that you show it to them as well, that they get to experience everything, if not more, than what you've given and provided for me, Heavenly Father. I pray that you also give them a spirit of consistency, give them the drive that you gave them, gave me as well, and just continue to push them and help them remember their why. There's a reason why they watch this channel. There's a reason why they wanna do TikTok shop. Help them to tap into that why because there's gonna be days where they post the videos, they get no views, they make no sales, and they're gonna to wanna to give up. Help them always remember their why, Heavenly Father. Let them remember that it's bigger than them, that financial stability and freedom is something that you just can't put a price on and that it may take a while to get there but every day as long as they show up and they're consistent every day will compound and one day they'll be able to look back and say wow i'm glad i started thank you god for the opportunity again i pray that everyone watching this video is blessed i pray that they have an amazing day and an amazing week in jesus name i pray amen Thank you guys so much for following. I look forward to seeing all of your comments below. Be intentional with having a blessed day.